Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to solve day 5 problem of this month on lead code. Before starting, if you guys haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, then please go ahead and subscribe it. Now, without any delay, let's get started with today's problem. Problem number 3477, fruits into baskets 2. Let's read the problem statement. You are given two arrays of integers, fruits and baskets, each of length n, where fruits of i represents the quantity of the ith type of fruit and baskets of j represents the capacity to the jth basket, okay, capacity of the jth basket, right. So from left to right, we have to place the fruits according to these rules, okay. Each fruit type must be placed in the leftmost available basket with a capacity greater than or equal to the quantity of that fruit, okay. Each basket can hold only one type of fruit, all right. And if a fruit type cannot be placed in any basket, it remains unplaced, all right. So we have to return the number of fruit types that remain unplaced after all possible allocations are made, okay. See the constants, very small, right. That is why this problem is easy, right, okay, very small. All right, so now how we are going to solve this, okay. So here we have three baskets, okay. And right now we haven't used any basket, okay. So I'm writing here F, F, false, 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 okay. Let's create one boolean array, okay, named used. So initially we haven't used any basket, right. So here I'm writing false, 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 okay. Four, okay. So now leftmost available basket, this is available, this is also available, this is also available, right. But this fruit, it can only be placed in this basket, okay, because each fruit type must be placed in the leftmost available basket, okay, with the capacity, okay, basket capacity greater than or equal to the quantity of that fruit type, okay, so quantity is 4, so 4 is can't be fixed in this 3, okay, 4 can be fixed in this 5, okay, so here I'm going to change market to 2, okay, so this is done, 4 and 5, this is done, now 2, okay, now leftmost available is this one, right, and here 3, 2 can easily be placed in this 3, right, 3 is greater than 2, right? So, can easily be placed. Okay, so I'm going to mark it as 2. Okay, this is also done. Okay, now here 5. Leftmost available is this one only, right? And 5, okay, 5 can't be placed in this 4, right? So, fruits 2 is equal to 5, cannot be placed in basket 2 is equal to 4. Okay, so that simply means that this is nothing but unplaced. Okay, unplaced, right? So, what we need to do? return the number of fruit types that remain unplaced okay so only one fruit type is unplaced right so we have to return one all right since one fruit type remains unplaced we return one that's it see this example number two false 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 okay initially we haven't used anything three leftmost available is this six okay place it here six okay leftmost available is four and seven but six can only be fixed in this seven right Fruits 1 of 6 can be placed in basket 1, 4, right? In sufficient capacity, but can be placed in the next available basket. Basket 2 is equal to 7, okay? So here I'm going to mark it as 2, okay? Now 1, 1 can easily be fixed in this 4, okay? So leftmost available this one and can easily be fixed, okay? So here I'm marking it 2, right? Okay, so no one placed, right? Since all the fruits are successfully placed, we return 0, that's it, okay? So now let's write the code, very, very simple, okay? Nothing complex here. I'm going to write the same thing, whatever I have explained, okay. So, int n is equal to, here just calculate the length, okay, fruits dot length, done. And then after that, create one boolean array, okay, boolean, all right. And here you write used, okay, new boolean n, okay. So, it is going to track the used baskets, all right. And then here int unplaced and here just set it to 0 okay done and then you have to run one loop okay int i is equal to 0 i is less than n and here i plus plus okay so here inside this uh, boolean placed value is nothing but let's create one boolean variable boolean and placed okay and set it to false okay done all right so we have placed this 
fruit yet okay so now after that i'm going to search for the leftmost okay so i have to start from searching from zero right from left side so here i'm running a loop for that j plus plus okay and inside this i'm just going to check if we haven't used that particular basket okay so if we haven't used it and and basket of j okay this basket of j value should be greater than equal to fruits of i okay so if this is the case right so that simply means that we can use this basket okay so used of j okay i'm going to set it to true means market basket a uh, mark basket as used okay so we have to mark the basket as used okay done so here we are able to place the fruit right so i'm going to set this place to true, true and i'm going to break it okay no need to check further if i'm going to if i'm able to place that okay so here i come out of this loop and here i'm just going to check if if we haven't we are not able to place this okay if placed is still false okay if we are not able to place that means that it is unplaced right so here unplaced plus plus okay that's it right so this way we have to check for all the fruits one by one and for all the baskets one by one okay and if we are not able to place so increment the value of unplaced okay that's it and here simply return unplaced that's it that's it okay now let's run the code and let's see if there are any issues so yes so here uh cannot find the symbol okay baskets okay s is missing okay all right let's run it again so see all the test case has been accepted right now let's submit it so see our solution is accepted right and the time complexity since we are running these two loops okay so i'm going to say it is off and square so i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem and if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing meet you guys in the next video thank you bye bye